Welcome to the garden. This incredibly strange plant looks like a mushroom, but is actually a flower known as Indian pipe. It's also known as ice plant, ghost plant, or corpse plant because of that pale color. They're most commonly white, but can also rarely be pink or even red. These are white because they don't actually produce chlorophyll, which means they don't rely on the sun, at least not directly. Their roots actually tap into a mycorrhizae network of fungus, and those fungi have a symbiotic relationship with trees, exchanging nutrients and moisture. Just like any other flower, these actually produce pollen. You can see that little ring of yellow, that's the pollen, and nectar. So they do attract pollinators like bees, butterflies, and ants. Now these ones are only a few inches tall, but they can get around a foot tall, and I've seen them in clusters of 12 or more flowers. Each flower only produces one bloom per stem, and they have leaves growing alternately along the stem. So you get one on the right, and then up a little bit you'll get one on the left, and so on. The leaves really don't serve much of a purpose because they don't photosynthesize. They get all of their nutrients from those mycorrhizae fungi. So they're actually classified as a parasite, which is really weird to think about a flower being a parasite. So I think they're actually one of the strangest flowers here in Minnesota. And these can be found all throughout the world, but they only show up around late summer after heavy rainfall. So they're actually really similar to mushrooms. They sprout like mushrooms after heavy rainfall, they grow like mushrooms without any sunlight, and they produce tiny little seeds that disperse in the wind, like a mushroom spores. The flowers droop like this, facing downward for most of their lifespan. That's to protect the nectar and the pollen from rainfall. And as they mature, they turn black or brown, and sometimes the flowers will face upward and release all those little seeds. They're actually in their own family, the Indian pipe family, Monotropacea. So that's kind of cool. Their Latin name is Monotropa uniflora, after the single flowers on each stem. There's another flower that's very similar to Indian pipe, and that's this pine sap. The main difference is that brownish orange to yellow color although the petals and the leaves are a little bit more round, whereas on the Indian pipe you can see they're quite flat. But just like our Indian pipe, this actually taps into those mycorrhizae fungi. In my little guidebook here, it says the roots were historically used as a remedy for epileptic seizures. So that's very interesting. And Aboriginal peoples, or the Native Americans, used the plant in a remedy to soothe and heal sore eyes. They would use the sap Wow, you know, I might be able to use that. <laughs> Indian pipe is also referred to as ice plant because if it is rubbed, it appears to melt like ice. That is fascinating. So when they say waxy, they really mean it. So this would probably just melt in my fingers. So I'm just going to take one little leaf here. Okay, it's not melting but it's very thin and it, it feels like a mushroom. That is so strange. Let's take a closer look. Look at that flower petal on top. And maybe that's a leaf, it's really hard to tell, but it looks like ice. That is just incredible. Look at that, you can just see right through them. It does look like the flowers kind of open up there at the base. Like the ant might be bypassing the pollen to get to the nectar deeper down in the flower. And because these are basically a parasite and very similar to mushrooms, I think they're one of the strangest flowers here in Minnesota. So I hope you keep an eye out for Indian pipe. Thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you next time.